Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video. Today's video is all about resume building. I would be talking about all the important things that you need to know. So stay tuned till the very end and I will be including the timestamps in the description box below so you can skip to the part that you want to know about. Firstly, I would like to thank you all for sending in your resumes. I had put up this post on my Instagram and many, I received over 50-60 resumes and I had to go through everything to shortlist a few. Uh, I shortlisted the ones that I thought would be helpful for everyone because I found a common mistake that freshers make and trust me when I was a fresher I used to do the same mistake so it is nothing that you should be worried about and if I had to look back at my first resume I would laugh at myself because it was terrible and I had made many mistakes so I would be talking about all of that and resume review part would be towards the end and uh, let's get started firstly I would like to introduce myself I am Shivangi if you are new here and I am currently working as an associate consultant at Oracle and this is a tech role so yes I would be guiding you and helping you with all the tips that I collected during my placements and why am I doing this it is because during my placements I wished someone was there to guide me but uh, since now I am towards the other side I want to be that mentor for people who would be in the same shoes as I was so what is a resume a resume is a piece of paper which would be the first thing that your recruiter would be seeing about you so it is uh, it depicts you a piece of paper would be depicting you and your knowledge so it needs to be well tailored and according to the job description it should highlight all your key points it should prove that why you are worthy why you are a worthy candidate uh, so make sure your resume is depic depicting the best version of you and the first thing I would say is to go with the template first mistake that I made was that I chose a template which looked good but wasn't practical I chose a template from Canva it had two columns one side was all about the skills and other side was about the projects the work experience education and all of those things at that time no one was there to tell me but now I will tell you guys that do not use a two column resume because it is not ATS friendly you need a single column resume and if as we are freshers we need to have one page resume the college must be sharing um, resumes of um, previous bad students so take reference from there and certain things that you need to keep in mind are the resume should not have any color unless or until you are applying for a career job uh, if it is a tech job avoid using colors secondly don't insert pictures I don't think uh, in my college uh, they insisted us to include a picture but I did not in um, I did not include my picture and it is uh, better if you don't you can link your uh, in LinkedIn and your github and your LinkedIn would have your picture so it works and your github link should be there so that the person who is reviewing is able to easily access or uh, your github and could uh, see what all things you have been doing and apart from that you the resume should have your contact details you are not supposed to include your entire address your email and phone number is enough now the second thing is objective objective is a three to four liner summary about you I uh, wrote an objective for my resume wherein I talked about what are my interests and what field I want to work in Another important thing is your education. You need to provide uh, certain details about the degrees that you have done. Your 10th and 12th and you need to include your school name as well. And you can include the percentage if you want to. If it is good, then you should be including. You need to enter, uh, write your college's name and the degree that you are pursuing. I was pursuing BE. You can include your CGPA as in the entire CGPA or the latest semester CGPA. Apart from this, the next thing that I included was my work experience. Initially, I did not have any work experience, but after that, I did a three month internship at Amway. So I included that and it adds so much value. So if you are someone who hasn't done any internship yet, so I would highly suggest you to find one because if a recruiter has to choose between two people, one who has some work experience and someone who is completely new to the corporate field, I think they might be going with the person who has some work experience. experience and over here you need to explain what work you did. I worked in the front end team and I told them about what all things I did and how it impacted the work that they were doing at the company. But honestly an intern's work doesn't impact much to a company but you need to play with your words and you need to write it in a way that leaves a good impression about you and your After this on the side since I used the two column resume on the side I listed down my skills and skills are a very important part of a resume 
company because it depicts what role you can be doing for that company uh, and over here you need to write your languages the languages that you have been using in your projects in your internship and what has been taught in your college and you can also include your soft skills as in a good speaker i also included like i know photoshop i know video editing i wrote these because i wanted to give a give an impression that i know a lot of skills apart from the field that i'm interested in and they did ask me about photoshop and adobe premiere pro what all things i did and how much experience i have in it so whatever you include over here expect questions from that field don't include skills that you don't know and you are adding just because it is in the job, job description now moving forward the other thing that should be in your resume is your projects projects are the best way to showcase that you know something because that is how a recruiter would trust you if you don't have any work experience you can compensate with good projects projects should be trendy they should have some uniqueness and you should be well aware about the tech stack and the modules of your project you should not simply just pick a project um, build it using the using youtube and not use any of your brain you need to understand everything and add a little bit of feature from your side so that you can say that it is mine uh, if you are able to make them live and you if you are able to uh, show them a live demo it is a added bonus but if you cannot you can simply talk about it explain the idea behind the project and the things that uh, were difficult for you to figure out and things that you were easily able to figure out you need to talk about it as if you are talking about your own kid because in that way the recruiter would know that yeah you have worked very hard on it now i would be talking about the last thing that should be in your resume it is about your achievements and extra curriculars achievements as in if you are in doing some competitive coding or if you are doing lead code and if and you, you have a very good score you you can include that in your resume i did include my rank i was um i included my geeks for geeks uh, rank which was 15 in my college so it was it is a very small thing but i included it because i wanted to add something there which would be adding value to my resume you can also include a certifications all of the courses that you have done and remember no course is worthy enough if you are not building a project out of it just handing the certificate to the recruiter is not enough if you are able to showcase a project it is a great way to uh, show that you have been doing things apart from college and you can also include any role of responsibility that you have done in your college or anywhere else that shows that yes you are a team player you are able to work with a lot of people i would also like to say that please don't feel bad if i am uh, pointing out any mistake treat me as your elder sister and i would be giving you advices as i would to my younger sister or brother and let's start with the resume re uh, review and the first resume as you can see it is a beautiful resume but there are a lot of mistakes that i can see at the first glance firstly you are not supposed to uh, include all your complete address secondly i cannot see your linkedin or your github uh, profile moving um, moving forward your objective is is fine i would ask you to summarize this into one page and don't use colors secondly uh, there's a lot of white space as you can see so you should avoid using white space because it um depicts that you don't have much uh, things to share so your resume looks very empty so uh, avoid using white uh, so avoid white spaces as you can as you can see your education qualification is taking a lot of space it should not be more than three lines that the project part the project uh, you should just enter the title and the description and in the description you can include your text tags you don't have to mention it separately because it is taking a lot of space moving forward to the other resume here you can see that you have listed three projects you can choose two good projects which are the best ones because three are a lot and i don't think the recruiter will be going through all the three two are enough and apart from that your profile um, your resume looks good but i think you can add you are missing something which i'm not able to understand your school your 10th and 12th marks are missing now i have another resume with me which i would say is the ideal resume this one is really very good i liked it a lot uh, the name is there phone number email id linkedin and also the github objective is there education is there as you can see uh, this girl has mentioned it very well and in three lines it is looking fab fabulous then we have the technical skills and we have experience she has a lot of experience and i really really like this as you may the projects she has mentioned two of her projects role of responsibilities there certification is there and extracurricular is there 
there and i think this resume is a five on five resume uh, education in three lines that is it प्रोजेक्ट्स पे आपने ज़्यादा एक्सप्लेन नहीं किया है जैसे कि दिख रहा है मुझे प्लीज़ एक्सप्लेन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट यू हैव मेड टेक्निकल स्किल्स आर फाइन प्रोफाइल लिंक ओके यू हैव इंक्लूडेड द प्रोफाइल लिंक बिलो ओके यू कैन डू दैट ऑन द टॉप इट वुड बी मोर कन्वीनियंट एंड दर्ज लॉर्ड ऑफ वाइट स्पेस यू कैन वर्क ऑन दैट दिस रेज्यू में अगेन हैज लॉर्ड ऑफ वाइट स्पेस एंड नो टू कॉलम इज अलाउड सो यू कैन वर्क ऑन दैट यू कैन रिमूव द कलर इफ आई वुड सजेस्ट This resume is also very well made, I would say, very well curated. Everything is fine and is a very good resume. So that is it, guys. I hope I have covered most of the resumes. I have tried my best to look into everything. If I haven't talked about your resume, that means it comes under those that I've already talked about. The mistakes that other people are making. You can look at, into your resume, and if you still have any doubt, you can mail me. And that is it. I hope you guys like this video. And when you have learned a lot about resume building. keep building your resume keep improvising and keep tailoring it according to the job description you don't have to use one resume for all the uh, companies that is coming to your college you need to uh, tweak it a bit and that is it i hope this video was insightful if yes share it with your friends and it is already 11:30 now i would be sleeping i have my job tomorrow and that is it from this video i hope you guys liked it if you did don't forget to hit the like button comment down below and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video bye